Hey guys, welcome to Ljubljana, Slovenia. I'm standing here in our hotel suite, which is a pretty big deal that I'm standing actually because unfortunately I sprained my ankle right at the end of our time in Istanbul in Turkey. <laughs> I can't believe it. it was super annoying as these things are. And I had to get a wheelchair through the airport to get to Ljubljana. We just need some ice and I'm good to go. And so when we arrived and I saw how amazing and massive this hotel suite was. I just felt really lucky because I've had to spend a lot of time in here and it's been such a nice place to just sit and recover with my ankle elevated, some ice on it, and I love the history here too. It's from the 16th century and this used to be the home of noble families and my favorite part probably is to look up at the ceiling and just imagine all of the people and memories that were made in these different rooms. So I felt really lucky to be here, but today we are actually going to go out into the city. I finally got to see Ljubljana. I'm gonna go slow, I'm still hobbling a little bit, but I really don't wanna miss seeing this city, so that's where we're gonna head out now. Here's my helper. <laughs> I feel like I'm in kindergarten where you need a little help with your shoes. And I feel like I work at a shoe store. <laughs> Foot points. Oh, careful, careful. Just don't touch the sign. Yeah. All right, other foot. I opted for these shoes because they have the most cushion for today. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, they're too tight. Okay. Because you don't like undoing your shoes. It's so weird. You have to pull the tongue out. That's why. Oh. I like my thumb's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us is used to this. No. <laughs> this is a new experience. I actually don't think you've really been injured the whole time. No. Except for our scooter accident. You mean in my life? No, that, like, I've known you. Oh, yeah. So my life? In over a decade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to keep it that way. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. Side again, Mark has been getting all of our uh, food and bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having you haven't a, really seen daylight in a couple days. Having a solo days. trip in Ljubljana. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. In a while. I was gonna say that when we first arrived, so we're in the city center now, and there's this huge pedestrian area, and you can only have a car here if you live here or if you're making a delivery, and otherwise you're not allowed to drive inside. And I thought it was so nice because the shuttle that we took from the airport, the shuttle driver called the hotel and asked if they could bring the, the security swipe card out to put those like roadblocks down so that he could drive me right up to the door of our hotel so that I wouldn't have to hobble or hop as far <laughs> into the hotel. And the receptionist like ran out, was freezing to put the roadblocks down. So that was my kind of first contact with- Our introduction to Slovenian yeah, hospitality. Yeah, in Slovenia. Yeah. So that was a very, very warm welcome. <laughs> to the Ljubljana, which is the river that goes all through the old town here, standing on this beautiful bridge, and the sun is just kind of poking out through the clouds. <laughs> it, I, it Teasing knows, us that it's gonna go away. I have missed the sun, <laughs> so I'm glad it's at least saying hello. This is so pretty. Everything is just right down on the river. All these like cafes and restaurants, it's so nice. I love seeing all the boats going by. Yeah. We just saw a wooden boat going under the bridge. And I wanna be so on one of those boats. Yeah. We might have to see about that. <laughs> Followed the river down to one of the most well-known attractions in all of Ljubljana. This is the Triple Bridge. And I think what I like most about this bridge, other than just how pretty it is, is the story behind it because mm -hmm. it didn't start as three bridges. This middle one that we're standing on right now is the widest and it has been here since 1842 and it replaced this very old medieval wooden bridge that was strategically quite important here, I think. And then in the 1920s and I think 29 to 32, 
2002, this architect wanted to spruce up that bridge a little bit, so he decided to add the two smaller kind of pedestrian ones on each side. And I've never seen a bridge quite like this. No, it's it, really unique. It's really unique and it's full of people and it's really just a beautiful place to stand and get a nice view of what feels like the heart of the city. I think one of the most historic buildings in the old city is this one behind us, this pink Franciscan it's church. Pink. <laughs> it's a pink church. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a pink church. I was excited to see this one. It's right when you walk across the Triple Bridge, this is right what you see in the main square here in the Old Town. And I feel like this church is one of the main images that you see. Like if you Google Ljubljana, yeah. you're gonna see this pink church. I was quite excited to see it. <laughs> Of course I feel like when you have a river running through the main part of any city, there'll be multiple bridges and multiple well-known bridges. So we found our way to another one. This is Dragon Bridge. You can see the dragon behind us. There are four dragons and I think that that's really the symbol of Ljubljana. You see dragons everywhere as you're walking around. And there's a legend here that Jason is the founder of Ljubljana and that he and his Argonauts slayed a dragon and that that's how a dragon became the symbol of the city. And there's another legend that the locals say, which is that when a virgin walks by one of these dragons, they wag their tails. <laughs> Believe which one you want. <laughs> Mark, extra tight today. You're doing really well. Thank you. <laughs> Way high up there on the mountaintop is the Ljubljana Castle. Mountaintop? You're from Calgary. <laughs> on the hill. Sky. On the hill. <laughs> so mountaintop maybe people from Ontario. <laughs> like me. Anyway, mountaintop, yes. <laughs> and it's originally a medieval fortress dating back to, oh, the 11th century. Super, super old. And it's been restored many times throughout the centuries. It basically got its new shape in about the 15th century. Brand new. And it really does sit high above the city, so you see it from everywhere. And it kind of grounds you that you're in this very, very historic place. And the other thing I love is that the coat of arms for Ljubljana has the castle on it with a dragon sitting on top, which is the much a big fan. coolest <laughs> coat of arms I've ever seen. <laughs> it's got it all dragons, castles, what more do you want? <laughs> Okay, wait, I gotta do the steps one at a time. <laughs> Heading down to our river cruise. You're doing good. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> you want to sit? Yeah. You just here? Sure. Put it up here probably. Yeah, true. Oh, perfect. <laughs> anyway, the sun is getting a little bit lower, but I think it's kind of the perfect time now. It's such a nice time to see it. Yeah, magic hour. So we get to see it from the water. This is the first bridge we are standing on where I saw the boat. So <laughs> this feels full circle. Now we're on the boat, on the river, going underneath the bridge. Marcus just said the words I love most, 
sandwiches. I brought chocolate covered Oreos. <laughs> I actually said what the only thing that could make right now better are chocolate covered. Oh, these are my favorite. Here, open up the. There's two kinds. There's chocolate covered, like regular chocolate, milk chocolate, and then white chocolate covered Oreos. And the white chocolate are my favorite. I love them so, so there you much. Go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> White chocolate covered Oreos are the way to Eileen Park. He's amused at how happy I am. Oh my god. Happy girl. day for a cruise. Perfect day. <laughs> it is pretty great. <laughs> we just went under the triple bridge. Yeah. Cool to see a friend your knee. Three times as much fun. It's <laughs> going under a regular <laughs> We've come over to this art center called Medelkova, which was formerly an army barracks and a prison. And now it's been turned into this really cool arts complex. There's murals and graffiti and sculptures and big stuff like this for adults to play on. And uh, it's just a really cool creative space. I love repurposed buildings and this is a whole complex of repurposed buildings and I just love seeing how creative people get. You know, it's so full of color and all the different ways that they've creatively recycled materials mm -hmm. and made them into something new is really cool to see. Lots of cool graffiti and murals. And I think my favorite is the series of golems or they look like golem creatures <laughs> over there, <laughs> some of which closely resemble me in the morning. <laughs> This place is just absolutely drenched with creativity. <laughs> like it's crazy. Everywhere you look, yeah. there's something there to see. I'm sure at night this place would be a cool place to come and hang out too. Mm. to try Slovenian national cake, which is this with all of the layers. It has cottage cheese, poppy seeds, apples, and walnuts. Sometimes the ingredients deviate a little bit, but actually the name and the recipe are protected by law here, so you can't deviate too much. I really, really want to try this. It smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Unfortunately, Mark and I got one to share. No, I'm regretting that decision. <laughs> <laughs> we can anyway. get another one. <laughs> it's nice to be back on my feet. It's been such a lovely day exploring Ljubljana for the first time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for lots more travel adventures. We're gonna sit here and share this cake. <laughs> we'll see you in our next video. Bye.